this series is about putting together a sports highlight film, um, generally for students that are going to be pursuing um, like an athletic scholarship for college. If you're a parent or if you're a student athlete or you know a new videographer and editor, then this video will be useful to you. What you'll need to uh, produce a highlight film in the first place will be a video camera, somebody that can videotape the games for you, um, you know, or you know, a parent videotape the games. Um, one quick note on videotaping games: um, always keep in mind that you want to be taping from a tripod. One exception may be like football. Um, for like multiple camera games where you know you got a sideline camera where that person may be just be shoulder mounted um, but for simple one camera footage of a game for highlight purposes for a recruitment film um, you know midfield on a tripod preferably in like a box you know like the the media box it's a lot warmer in there um, keeps you out of the elements when you're lucky, that's what you'll have. Um, at least that's my pers uh, perspective. When you, you're going to be gathering footage throughout the year, um, and you want to keep that information orderly. So how you'll do that is, is, you know, after every game that you tape, you'll come back, you'll either be rolling your footage in if you're, you know, on a tape type of format, um, or you'll be simply just copying and pasting or, However you're going to input your media into your computer, you'll, you'll have to do that. Um, and then you'll want to make sure that all of your, um, you know, you just label your folders, you know, dependent upon which game um, you're going to be uh, saving. And, and I just brought all the footages in based on a time code form that I give the parent or the student athlete. And they basically just go through all of their DVDs that we shot throughout the year, and they will fill out the time code form um, based upon like wh what the time code is on your DVD player when a play happens that you want covered in your highlight reel. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, bring it in, and you can label it by game, or you could label it by, um, like, defense, you know, it's all sports dependent, so whatever sports that you're covering, you'll have uh, categories that will help the recruiting coaches make up their mind on whether or not they want to give you a scholarship to go to their school. So in this case, I'm doing a soccer highlight reel. So a couple of my categories are creating opportunities, um, foot skills, goals, and, and shot attempts, um, defense, you know, defensive plays. And this will all also be dependent upon what position you play. So with that being said, you could see here I've got tabs that I make. And how you do that is simply right click anywhere in your timeline and go to markers and regions. And it just simply insert a marker like wherever um, you want to be able to add a new topic. But I have my topics made already, defense, goals, keeping possession, shots on goal, so on and so forth. So this this uh, tutorial is about, you know, it's about collecting your footages that you've, that you've shot the whole year, putting them into categories, and putting them into your timeline so then that way you can go ahead and pick and choose and start building a highlight reel. Um, <clears throat> typically, from what I've read and researched, you don't really want your highlight reels to be beyond like seven minutes. That would be kind of on the long end. Um, so if you go over that, maybe you might you might want to just make multiple videos, you know, like a couple videos. So then that way, when you upload uh, these highlight reels to the websites of your choice, you'll have um, you'll have multiple videos to upload. Once again, this tutorial is is being uh, done with Sony Vegas 10. Um, it's the it's the software that I've edited on since the beginning of my editing career, so um, it's familiar to me. So 
if you're listening to this tutorial, chances are that you've purchased Sony Vegas or you're in the process of doing so. Um, or maybe you just want to like hear my voice. I don't know. I doubt that, but I'm just saying. This particular player had a lot of highlights, as you can see. I'm like scrolling through here um, because he just like is awesome. So he had so many highlights, and he spent the time to 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 go through all of them, which is very useful to me because it just speeds up the process considerably. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take all of these defensive plays, and I'm going to go ahead and copy, or like you know, I'm d all I did was just simply click and drag to set a region of interest <clears throat> and I'm gonna take this whole region and just cut first though I'm going to undo this button here because that is the auto ripple and for in Sony Vegas you know auto ripple means that if I were to delete that everything starts moving forward on the timeline automatically so I, I don't want that to happen in this case so I'm just going to go ahead and edit and cut that now and then move it over to my highlight reel over here that I'm creating and I'll just drop it in right here paste okay so these are all of my defensive clips and I think actually for this highlight reel I'm going for this particular one I'm going to show all of the goals scored <clears throat> goals and attempts and then also all defensive plays because he has so many of them that that is probably going to take me to like five or six minutes and then for the other reel I'm going to create I'm going to add the other topics like creating opportunities um, foot skills okay so now that I went ahead and I got that there I am going to make a title a title bar this is goals and attempts so I'm actually, I like the style <coughs> of these. So I'm going to stick with the same style throughout. You know, that's always smart. Make all that continuity in the film industry. People like to see things that they've seen before um, over and over again. It makes them comfortable. People don't like to be out of their box too often. Okie dokie. Um... As you could see with that auto ripple on, see like when I moved everything, everything kind of it follows and in turn. So it is kind of useful. Just be aware of it and know what it does, because otherwise you'd be lost. I remember when I first started editing, that was a button that would cause me lots of heartache. <clears throat> okay, <coughs> so I have controlling the ball as like one of my first topics. Um, I may or may not keep this, but for for the tutorial's sake, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to build this so you can see where I'm coming from. So anyhow, so like in this topic, it's controlling the ball. So this is the graphic that I have for it. Okay. I freeze them. I show the play. Okay. Here's another example. There's my player. Oh, there he's got the ball. Now he passes it off. So that's controlling the ball. So this whole concept of doing the squares let's talk about that because we got a couple minutes left in this one um, I'm gonna do that for goals so I'm gonna that, what's this clip about all right we don't need that <coughs> I'm gonna delete that I'm gonna undo that and turn the button off see auto ripple undo is very very helpful <coughs> see undo it's a beautiful thing um okay not really worried about the audio because I'm gonna be running um okay not really worried about the audio because I'm gonna be running uh, music tracks over this so now I want this on the auto ripple because I'm gonna pull this forward and the attributes that are in that motion I've already created so I'm going to show you how I did that, um, or actually I'm just going to show you how I paste those attributes or copy those attributes of that motion into, um, at least I think I am. Let me try it first.
Nope, I'm gonna have to do that one by hand, so okay. <coughs> Let's see, controlling the ball, text, moving. Okay, so to create that effect again, um, I'm gonna go to generate media tab, this little thing that looks like a green film strip. And I'm gonna set the placement of of this a little higher, or actually that's fine for that one. Set it a little, I'm gonna set it like off to the side. And let's see, effects, placement. Uh, <clears throat> here's the other one underneath it. So I'm going to put that one to start, how did I do the other one? Oh, okay, so they go in opposite directions. So I'm gonna start like goals and set it over like here to start. And then I'm gonna hit the animate, animate key, anime. <laughs> no, animate, animate key. And then I'm gonna just scroll over to the end of the clip, add another keyframe and grab it and just slide it over right off the screen. <clears throat> As you can see, like that's what it's doing. Keep goals and attempts. Okay, these are just ideas. I mean, <clears throat> all right. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the opposite one, which is, I believe, here. Placement. No, nope, that was that one. Or I'm sorry, the first one. Placement. Key. Key. Animate. Keyframes already set. Um, so I'm just going to go back to the beginning and see how, where that one started. And that one started there, so I'm going to start the other one over here. Placement. Sorry. Yeah, so start that one over here. Goals and attempts. And the end position will just be on the other side off screen. Okay. Let's take a look. Goals and attempts. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> I like it just so that, you know, a person gets a chance to read it, and that's pretty much all the length that I need. I'm not really, you know, just for aesthetic purposes. So I'm going to turn off the ripple and move everything forward till about right there actually cut it back so it just kind of like like right there then I'll blend in my next clip and I'll set my ripple back on and move everything forward goals and attempts So that was a pretty cool goal. Um, all right. So for this uh, for this particular getting started tutorial, that's all I want to show for this one. Um, so as a review, um, we went over like getting your clips into the software. Um, you know, keep everything titled, create categories. Um, you know, make sure that you film your stuff with a tripod. Um, you know, if, you, if you're not comfortable with doing that on your own, then get somebody to do it for you with experience. Um, it's one of them things, you know, you want to make sure that the footage is at least up to par uh, with what people are doing. So you're, you're going to be competitive with whoever it is that you're in competition with. So think of it that way. Um, so also titles. We went over titles. Okay, goals and attempts. Just a simple animation there. Um, and in the next tutorial, what I'll be talking about is how to create these triangles and how to, sp how to pause the play. <clears throat> okay. So you can like, you know, pause it and then show the end of the play. Okie doke. See you next time.